Hi everyone and welcome to the Now tutorial video number 6. On this week's tutorial we're looking at the Now's walking capabilities. So if you want your Now to walk all over the place then please stay tuned. Hi guys, I'm Philip English from RoboField.com. Now on this video we're looking to do some programming on how to use the Now's walk to behaviour. The Now robot uses X, Y and Z plane to refer to the places and the picture on the screen shows how the Now coordinates this to its frame. As you can see, the X axis of the Now points forwards and the Y axis points to the left of the robot. The Z axis is perpendicular to both the X and Y axis and points up. The Now uses meters for its units in the X and Y coordinate plane. So to give you an example, if you had the coordinates 2-5, then this would translate into 2 meters in front of the Now and 5 meters to its left. The Now also has angles to find as an addition to the X, Y, Z coordinates. These angles are measured clockwise from the X axis as shown in the figure. Right, hi guys and welcome to the Walk 2 tutorial. So, let's get jump straight into it. So we've got our now, he is sitting down. Again, we will wave his little arm just so we know. Oh, without him falling over, let me just reposition him there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the now to stand up, walk a few paces and then sit down again so we can get the basic walk feature of the now. So what we wanna do is we wanna go over to the box libraries as we've talked about before and go over to motions in the standard box, so motions, and we want to get into stand up first. So there we go, simple stand up behavior. We'll drag that in. Now we're lucky because actually, in the same folder, in the motions folder, there's also the move to behavior, which is what we want. So he's going to stand up, he's going to walk, and then we want him to sit down again, and again, it's in the same folder. So nice and easy, everything in the motions folder. So as you know, let's connect up the noodles. So one noodle there. Brilliant. And then another noodle into the actual movement, and then one noodle into the sit down afterwards. So when you're in here and you want to change the distance for how far he's going to walk, you simply go to the move to behavior and click on the spanner. Now in the spanner you can see the distances. So you can see he's 0.2 at the moment, and it will obviously for x and y zero, and that means he was going to move forward at a distance of 0.2. So Nice and simple. Now, as you remember, guys, we need to turn on his motors to get him to work, otherwise he's not going to do anything. Obviously, make sure he is all connected. Obviously, we know Philip's connected there. So go over here to the green little uh, cogs and hit that. And you can hear him kicking there on the microphone. And that's just his motors tensing up and turning on. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to hit the play button. And if you keep an eye on him on the 3D view, so you can see what's happening in the 3D view and I'll show you one of him walking across the table in live view as well. So let's give it a go. Here we go. So he's standing up, first part of behavior, and then he starts to walk. Gets to his destination, and then he comfortably sits down again. Brilliant. Well done now, that's exactly what we wanted, so that's all working smoothly. So guys, have a play with this, and of course, play with the distances as well to see what you can get your now to do. Thank you. Well done guys, you can now get your now robot to walk anywhere you want it to walk. Now have a play with this behavior to see if you can link any other actions to the now. Maybe build a little maze and see if you can get your now to walk around it. Or perhaps have a look to see which surface he walks better on or get him to walk onto a hard surface compared to a carpet light surface. Have a play guys and use your imagination. Now if you like this tutorial and want to see the next one in the collection then please hit the subscribe button and keep up to date with the latest videos that come out. Please have a look below as well where I've put other links relating to these videos as well as other information about the Now robot. If you have any questions or want to see any other related tutorials then please write me a message in the comment section and I'll see what I can do. Thanks guys and I'll see you next time. If you like this and want even more free video tutorials, news and information, then please visit us at robofield.com where you can download the latest free ebooks and get insider information and techniques of how to become a robot expert. 
The NOW robot uses the X, Y and Z plane to refer to places and the picture on the screen shows how the NOW's coordinates lie into this frame. Blah, blah, blah. The NOW robot uses the X, Y, Z plane to refer to the places and the pictures on the screen. Blah, blah, blah. As you can see, the X axis of the NOW points toward fault there. <laughs> the Z axis is perpendicular to the blah, 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 blah. The NOW uses angles defined as and now also, right. And now also has angles defined as an addition. <laughs> and now uses angles defined as. And now also has angles defined as an addition. <laughs> the now also has angles defined as an addition to the x y z coordinates. These angles are measured counterclockwise from the x axis, as shown to the figure, as shown on the figure.